And this brings us to our all-encompassing digital marketing strategy, what we call our online dominance method, which I'll be explaining to you uh, in depth. Uh, here we can help you figure out, out of these eight core initiatives, which are the three or four that are going to have the biggest impact for you and your company going into the new year. Uh, you want to pay attention to this method since it is really the, the perfect composite of what makes for a great multi-channel digital marketing strategy. So it starts with making sure you have a good website that was built to convert with strong SEO optimization. It has good content copy and lots of glowing online reviews with a strategy in place to get more of those online reviews coming in on a consistent basis. Uh, it can also include showing up in the paid listings, pay-per-click, uh, where people are looking for your services, uh, as well as leveraging retargeting ads so that when someone goes to your website, they start seeing your banner ad on other sites they visit. You're kind of following them around the internet. And you've probably experienced that already. Um, so this can draw them back to your site to, to turn into from a shopper. Now you convert them into a customer again because you keep that top of mind presence that actually brings them back to you. Uh, you can also tap into some strategic paid online directories like Angie's List and Yelp. I don't really recommend paid Yelp. Um, that tends to backfire a little bit. You have some really uh, war, bad war stories there. Uh, you can also uh, tap into some of the paper lead services uh, in today's market like Google Home Service Ads, uh, their local service ads that they've rolled out, which we're going to talk a lot more about, uh, Thumbtack, possibly Home Advisor. Um, and maybe not Home Advisor so much because I saw a comment from Eric uh, right now. Home Advisor is terrible. Uh, so there's that, of course. Um, but definitely uh, Google local service ads. And we'll be talking uh, more about those, as I said, as we go. So really the goal here is to put together a really strong strategy that connects with your customers uh, and then also uh, to follow up with them you know, via email marketing, uh, social media, even some print and follow-up, uh, like thank you cards and things like that, to really maximize your true potential online. And so what does all this mean for your company? Uh, well, let's talk a little bit about the results and what's really possible and really why I'm gonna be sharing uh, this example in this case study with you. So this is a remodeling company that focuses on basement and bathroom remodeling. Uh, and although they have a, a good reputation online, uh, they just really weren't getting the call volume that they needed to sustain their, their growth ambitions. Um, as you can see with this search screen shot, uh, we actually know that they're, uh, they're getting some good results now. So uh, this remodeling company, uh, after struggling to generate a consistent flow of new opportunities for several years and trying to get this internet stuff figured out, uh, they literally went from just a few calls a month to now generating anywhere from 30 to 50 calls a month. Um, this is dating back to 2017 when they first came on. And so now if we fast forward to, to current time, uh, I just looked the other day, in fact, and between January and February this year, they received 97 new phone calls. So that's a heck of an improvement in just two years time uh, and, and, and significant revenue improvement as well. So I um, mean, I can happily say that uh, this client is very satisfied with their new and increased lead generation flow. And, and we're looking forward to working with them for, for many years to come. Biggest victory for them was just knowing that they had a consistent flow of leads that they could count on. And, this, and then, you know, thus consistent revenue from month to month that they could also count on keeping their crews busy. It gives them a lot of confidence going forward, knowing that they have an expert team of digital marketers uh, working for them. So at this point, I really want to hear from you guys right now. You know, what would it mean to you in your business if you could generate an extra 30, 40, 60 leads per month, you know, heck, even an extra 10 or 20 leads per month may be a huge boost for some of you to really feel like you have a scalable model. And so I do want to hear from you guys in the comments right now. I want to make sure you're getting clear about your why. Everything moves so much quicker 
and you'll pay more attention and, and get more value out of this if you really understand you know, what, what something like this would mean for your business, how this could really drive your revenues and, and drive your success. David just posted, I could really use 60 more calls. Yep, <laughs> no doubt, we all could, right? Javier says, uh, more freedom and more time with my family. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Mary says, our craftsmen sure would be happier knowing they have more work coming in on a consistent basis. Absolutely. Absolutely. But if we look at the online dominance method, you know, you want to be tapping into all the different places uh, where your customers are looking for you and needing your services. So at least you're thinking about all your options. I love hearing from you guys. Love learning what your why is, uh, helping you understand your numbers. And, and helping you to find a better way to sustainability and growth for your company. All right, so this gives us a good sense. You know, here's a case study. Uh, here's what this company was able to achieve. Uh, here's what's possible for my company. 